um, 11 years old and worked on One Life to Live. I was sort of a, a street kid who got adopted by a police and, and uh, a woman who was a nurse. We were sort of the first African-American family on a daytime soap opera. And it was great training. And uh, it's one of those things I'm, I'm very proud of and very happy we've been able to do. This has been the relationship of One Life to Live's Bo and Nora. <laughs> who had sparks flying the moment they met 20 years ago. Take a look. Oh! I'm so sorry. I will have so sorry. Well, I've spilled your drink all over you. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. It's just club soda, so a little red wine ought to get it right out. <laughs> Um, someone told me I could find Bo Buchanan out here. You wouldn't have to know who he is, would you? Well, I'm not sure that anybody really knows who he is. He's a complicated guy. I was a klutz. I apologize. Do you have to be cute? <laughs> it's a tough job, but somebody... <laughs> watching this show it's just like so amazing i was only three though, I, was right? was <laughs> <laughs> so, I was and you were no Bob, yeah. you created this role of bo buchanan in 1979 and when you first auditioned you had to screen test with erica slazak what do you remember about that day i remember i well there were two roles i screen tested for and i wanted the first one and i didn't want the cowboy role because i heard he was a jerk oh wow <laughs> And then, uh, after we did the screen test, I got back to Los Angeles, and they said, well, what'd you, th you still think he's a jerk? And I said, no, it was really cool, you know? And they said, well, good, because that's the one they offered you. But after we finished the test, guess who went in the booth and said, I would lean towards this guy. I'm on his, I want this guy. Agnes? Oh, Erica. Erica. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I went to the producer, and I said, if there's a choice... And this was a producer who didn't, who didn't particularly listen to actors. But I said, if there is a choice, I said, this guy is just awesome. Wow. He was so cute, I can't tell you. <laughs> I, was, I was pregnant with my son in real life. And so the audition was done with me sitting behind a desk. Yes. And Bobby came in all kind of cowboy. And, oh, God, he was cute. <laughs> have these very steamy sex scenes, yeah. scenes right? Oh, yeah. And somebody told me, Little Bird told me, that you guys like to fool around and tease each other when you were behind the scenes, is it? Doing those steamy... What did you used to do? I see. <laughs> I'd like to know who told you that. I don't know. I can't really read my sources. Did my husband say anything? No. <laughs> I had these things called woodsies. I called them woodsies because I always wore them when I was with him. Yeah. They, they were these that taped on you yeah and yeah, and so we had this one scene we weren't in bed though that was this right. she That's pulled right. usually i pull something on her she got me on this one what'd you do with the woodsies well i had she them on it. and i was supposed to drop a robe which actually was a scene that we came up with and i i dropped a robe and the camera was from behind so all you saw was my naked back going down in his face which he had a fake mustache on and he <laughs> like this and i had written hi, hi woodsy <laughs> I was looking everywhere. Oh, <laughs> to be a gentleman, you know. So you guys, you okay, boy Nora? You guys have been you guys have been married twice. Now the first wedding, you guys were married by Little Richard, mm -hmm. and then you guys and you guys uh, you guys danced down the aisle. Let's take a look. You have that.
Well, Little Richard showed up for blocking, and then we, we started rehearsing and blocking and everything. It took forever. And then all of a sudden he announced, you know, I'm only here until about 5 o'clock. I got a gig. <laughs> oh, wow. So we did all his close-ups yeah. and everything in the wedding. And then we were actually married by Ray Hostin. <laughs> was our stage, our stage manager. manager. Oh, really? Yeah. That's funny. Now, Hillary, I hear on the last day of filming, you got a very, very special present from Bob. I what did. What was that? It was very beautiful. What was oh, it? Do we have it? Oh, do we have it? No, get it. Seriously, this man means a lot to me, and I'm probably going to just. Um... I'm for clamped. Oh. She's for clamped. <laughs> <laughs> This is my, my, it's my rubber chicken. It's sort of been a part of... Uh, it's now my rubber chicken. Yeah, it is, because it, it's uh, the, the targets. Hillary and, uh, and Phil Philly. Carey. Yeah. Philly, I used to terrorize with this. There'd be a scene, and so all of a sudden, if you, can, if you see this thing back and it goes like this... think of each other of you of him what does your husband think of him and your wife think they of you they don't really know what we do for a living they don't <laughs> you know what? as long as the check's clear our it's okay our spouses wish we were our characters yeah. uh, and Hillary, we love you so much thank you so much for giving right. us what you have given us thank you to robert s one and hillary b smith we'll be right back with cassie and james